I think they've been surrounded by dogs for so long that they've picked up the, <laughs> picked up the lifestyle. What a beautiful morning. Good morning from Carella. Just on route now to Mass and Cherry to check out the area, see some of the sights and um, grab some bits from the supermarket. Haven't actually seen a proper supermarket in a while. I just mean a few bottles of water and stuff. Stock up and yeah, to see what the area is all about. Seems to be a popular spot for tourists and also locals. It's probably about 24, 25 degrees right now, which is the coldest we've had in a long while. I'm actually feeling a bit chilly on the arms. I could do with a jumper. Some of the dogs are very cleaned up. Some of them are a little dirty. There's the school bus. Wow, the palm trees are incredible. Hello. So picturesque. Toilet for emergency use. I'm holding up pretty strong at the moment. Shouldn't be any, shouldn't be any troubles. The place seems to be overrun by crows. All you hear is squawking. I think we're just entering the area of Mass and Cherry. But first we want to make a little stop in the spice shop to see if we can get some dried mango or any dried fruit without sugar. Added sugar. Cashew out. Potentially. Good morning. Oh yeah, that, that's mango. Kiwi. What are they? Are they... Dates. Got some dates. We're going to hold off for now from getting dried fruit because we're not sure if it's covered in added sugar or not. I don't know if the, I don't know if the man understood our question. So we'll hold off, check out a few more shops and then hopefully get some for tonight. There's a whole family of dogs here. I can only imagine how busy this gets at night. Glad to be here now, nice and quiet. Very detailed. Look at that. So apparently we are on the historical path of Great Kochi now. As you can see, there's plenty of places to check out. Gonna be saving this list. Let's have a look. So someone just asked me where I'm from on the street. And um, I said England. And he's like, he just said, lovely jubbly. Good, good quote to Fools and Horses there. Good reference. Oh, gotta start the day with a good laugh. Okay. We're in an interesting part of town now. It smells nice. It smells of um, incense. That's the one. Lovely smell of incense. Cool set of wheels. Good morning. Look at this. Hello. Ooh, concept hotel. Bet it's nice in there. <laughs> I bet it's out of my budget. <laughs> Plenty of filming going on. Not sure if it's for weddings or something. Wow. Even on the way back, you get a different perspective of the um, of the walking street. See that building which was yellow on that side? Nice and red here. I don't know what it is, but I've got this funny feeling we came at the wrong time. <laughs> Nothing seems to be open. That's a surprise for eight in the morning. 
another look at the water. I have to come back here during the evening or even in the afternoon. It's a mission not to get hit by a bus. Hopefully we're going to go through our first successful shop of the day, get some water bottles. Hello. Oh, it's actually closed. Don't be closed. Well, it says it opens at 8. It's 8.17, but it opens in five minutes apparently. The shopping's been successful already. We've taste tested mango, strawberries, kiwi, papaya, dried. Very good, so we're getting kiwi and uh, mango. Also, we're just checking out all the different shops that they got here. We're not buying it, just seeing the different products. Different milky bars. These Kinder Choco Bonds look unbelievable. But yeah, not purchasing any chocolate. So many different types of dairy milk. You wouldn't get this in the UK. Dairy milk silk. It's been two or three months in the making. Dried mango, got hold of a bag. This is if they don't want us to get into it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh yeah. Looks partially natural. I think it's all right. Mm. This is better than the piece we tried. Mm -hmm. We taste tested it. This is much better. Hang on a second. Look at this. It's a good time not to get addicted to it again. <laughs> don't want to don't overeat. And don't want to replace meals with mango. Just walking back now to the, well, walking to the northern tip of Fort Cochi. Um, yeah, just with, just another day of strolling around, I guess. Potentially take the ferry later. So they're doing uh, sightseeing, we'll do some goats in. Count how many goats we see in this video. There's rubbish collection. It's strange to see goats. <laughs> we got ourselves a little sidekick. Well, a few of them. <laughs> what an interesting place. East India Street Cafe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, now that makes sense. So funnily enough, this was a, um, a five-star hotel that we jokingly looked at this morning. And we're like, yeah, we'll stay there for a night. But it's sold out, so um, what a shame. Won't be staying there. I think they've been surrounded by dogs for so long that they've picked up the, <laughs> picked up the lifestyle. Part of town where construction's underway. Hello. No thanks. No road exists just yet, which is surprising because some of these buildings look about 40, 50 years old at least. Also, I forgot to show my new water bottle with a handle. The irony of it is that the 
but the most expensive hotels in, well, in Fort Kochi are on the road without a road. You can't write it. It nearly wiped me out. Yeah. Well, the ferry's just pulled up. Not gonna take it just now, we'll take it later.